John, what did you make of, of, of the game and, and your team's performance? Uh, the game was very scrappy, you know. Um, pitch was difficult, probably, you know, that um, it's hard to get the ball down and play. Uh, feeding on a lot of scraps. Um, we feel we've had a perfectly good goal that's allowed. Um, and, you know, when it's a, a game of fine margins when the pitch is turned like this and the game was won on a set play, you know, the, the lads won a good header off Ross and Ross had a smashing game, but, you know, you can't go asleep from corners and he has done. And, um, you know, I think they only had three corners into our box and we've conceded with one of them. And we had several and several free kicks that we didn't, you know, do better with. Possibly could have had a penalty when Ross is being hauled when he's trying to head the ball in the in the goal late on in the first half. And obviously the goal that disallowed, you know, you see them giving up and down the country. So um but when you're down there, things don't go for you and we've just gotta we've gotta battle through it. I don't think um I don't think the lads can be faulted for effort. I thought we had a good goal. Made a couple of great chances in the second half and just didn't take them. Um and we battled away and you know Games are going to go like this, you know, not much in the game between either team. And it's just uh, when the ball falls for you, if it goes into the net, and you need a little bit of luck, I mean, it's inevitable. Are you of the opinion that it could easily have gone either way? Well, what do you think? Joey Barton oh. thought very different, is the only reason why I asked. Oh, Joey Barton thought they were miles better than us? Yes. Well, he must have been watching a different game. And he's come up here and said they could have comfortably won it maybe four or five, and, and that the pitch was a massive factor. Uh, I don't know how we can say they could comfortably win a four or five, you know. Uh, I've, I've seen our keeper make two saves in the game, and they're both when we're chasing the game. Um, you know, so uh, I think um, I think when Joey sees the uh, the replay back of the game, I think he'll think differently. You had that result last week at the Burton Albion, where it was a second half capitulation, for want of a better word. Was it very different today in terms of the consistency levels of the performance throughout? Well, they probably after the. Uh, all singing and dancing um, analysis, so they'll probably have a heat map, and if you have a heat map, the ball was played in their half, one it was played in our half in the second half, so from that basis alone, if it was territorial, I think we'd, we'd have shaded it. Um, but, you know, we, we we defended better today than what we did last week, for sure, yeah, because we only conceded the one goal, but it was a poor goal to concede from our point of view because we, we've we worked on defending set plays, and so, you know, we, we should be more of a danger from our own set plays, you know, uh, and as I said, with the exception of the one Ross got in at the back post when we felt he was fouled, there was not much in it for us. Is it another case of the frustration being that the visiting goalkeeper hasn't made a lot of saves and there haven't been loads of shots? No, but our keeper's only made two saves, and you know um, we've had the two. Down, we've had the one that Sean McComas plays over the bar, and we've had um, we've had the one where it's gone past the far post when it's begging for Ross to put it in and. You know, the one where um, Paul Smith's twisted in the box. Possibly could have laid it off to Billy, but it's difficult on a pitch like this. I appreciate that you weren't standing here listening to what Joey Barton said to us live a few minutes ago. I'll, I'll hit you with a couple of things that he, that he said and, and get your response. He, he felt in the build-up that Accrington as a club were disrespectful to Fleetwood by your chairman talking about their budget, the finances that they've got and that he used some comments as motivation for his players. I'm sure you've done a similar thing. What do you make of I'm, it? I'm not going to get to on into anything like that. That's, you know, I'm here to talk about the game of football that we played in today. Uh, I don't do social media. I don't see the point in social media. Um, I, I think it's a complete waste of time. So uh, I'm not certainly not going to get to on on social media. In terms of the league table position, you came into it two points above those relegation places. The other results today, I think, mean it's pretty much the same scenario. Obviously, that might not be the case forever, but I guess you've got another opportunity with Wednesday night and Sunderland to try and make that gap bigger. We've got tough games coming up, and we've got to, you know, we've got to hope that we can work hard, work our way through it, and, and the ball drops for us. And the only way you can improve your chances of luck is by working harder and getting the ball in their box more. As I said, we, we played we played a lot of the game in their half second half today. And they were very much counter-attacking. Um, and on another day, we, something would have dropped for us in the box today. It didn't, it's up for them. And that's unfortunate. But, you know, I don't, I don't think any shape or form we deserve to lose the game today. So, you know, we'll go again. We referenced just finally that defeat at Burton last week. Same result, don't have any points on the board. 
are they in a better place, your players, in that dressing room after today than they were this time last week? Well, we're still disappointed. You know, you're never in a good place when you get beaten. You know, we've got a lot of hours work to do. We've got eight games to go, and we've got to give it our best shot.